I would argue that President Trump is the result of death anxiety. Max Weber, a dead German sociologist at the beginning of the 20th century, he said that whenever the historical shit hits the fan, whenever there's a time in history where people are uncomfortable and uncertain, when that happens, we tend to become attracted to what he called charismatic leaders, larger than life people who often declare that God has chosen them to rid the world of evil. And what Ernest Becker said, that's because a death anxiety. When things are uncertain in the world, we become supportive of leaders who we might otherwise not find attractive at all. We got interested in this right after September 11th, 2001. You guys look too young, but you might remember that uh, George W. <laughs> Bush was president at the time. Right before September 11th, he had one of the lowest approval ratings in the history of American politics. But three weeks later, he was one of the most popular presidents ever. We were wondering, we're like, oh, what happened? The president magically transformed from a functionally illiterate oil industry neocon meat puppet into an efficient public servant? Or, or you know, were Americans so freaked out by the obvious reminders of death as a result of September 11th that they became attracted to the president who, after all, said, I believe that God has chosen me to rid the world of the evildoers. And sure enough, we did a bunch of experiments in 2004 where we showed that Americans didn't care for President Bush or his policies in Iraq unless they were reminded of death first. They liked his policies and they liked him a lot. All right, so here we are in 2016. Donald Trump says, oh, I'm going to run for president. A lot of Americans, particularly ones that knew how to read, they were like, no, this is ridiculous. Uh, obviously, he is no more fit to be president than he is to pilot the space shuttle or give birth to a live human child. That doesn't matter to his supporters. They were enthralled by his vow to make America great again by revitalizing the economy, building a giant wall, uh, deporting 11 million immigrants, keeping Muslims out. It didn't matter one bit to them that 80 percent of everything that Trump says is demonstrably false. What matters is Americans, particularly those who are feeling threatened right now and economically and psychologically uncertain, here's a charismatic leader who says, I am the only one who can keep you safe. Sure enough, we did experiments last summer where we showed that when people were in their right minds, when they were not reminded of death, they liked Hillary Clinton more than Donald Trump. But when they were reminded of death first, they liked Trump more than Clinton. Trump doesn't have to use the word death. He just has to keep saying terrorist, immigrant, and Muslim, which is every third word out of his face. I don't think it's a surprise that his rhetoric has not changed uh, since he was elected, I, I would argue that he needs to keep people perpetually in a state of high death anxiety without them being aware of that fact, or else they may lapse into common sense and realize that he literally has very little intention of actually helping the people who, for the most part, were responsible for getting him elected. He was elected uh, saying, oh, I'm going to help the little people. But if you look at the folks that he has appointed to his cabinet, if you look at everything that he has done since he's been elected, the rich people will continue to get richer while the planet within a few decades will no longer be habitable by humans.